Uh, halo semua, anda bersama saya Pak Yus Gurun dan uh, bersama saya sekarang ni adalah Stu Wilkin, midfielder untuk pasukan Sabah dan uh, pasukan senior kebangsaan. Uh, first and foremost, Stu, thank you very much uh, for spending uh, a little bit of time with me today um, in the build up to um, the clash against uh, Kelantan. Um, so, Stu, I just want to start with uh, uh, your own individual performance. Uh, you ended the season last year on a high with uh, Sabah and during the break, your arrival uh, in the international football scene is announced through a good AFF Suzuki campaign. Uh, how did that impact your start of the 2023 season so far? Uh, yeah, I think towards the end of last year was really important for me to to play well with Sabah and, and then get my first call up with Malaysia. So yeah. I was really happy about that, really excited to go for the camp and, and have that new experience for me. Uh, but it was amazing. Yeah, so obviously it did, did quite well there and it gave me confidence leading into the start of this season to to go again with Sabah. Uh, Give me that motivation to to keep going and and keep doing what I do to to yeah help the team to to try and win games. Uh, I just want to know this. Uh, at the end of last season, let's say um, the last five matches of last season, did you get the feeling that you know uh, maybe a call up uh, for AFF Suzuki is coming in? Did you already get the feeling? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, I. I really wanted to go and and it was something that was in the back of my mind but um of course I didn't know until the list was released uh I guess I had a a small idea but uh until everything was confirmed that was when I fully was excited about it and, and excited to go small idea yeah <laughs> you small <were> idea. <laughs> um yeah uh, back to uh, your performance uh, with uh, Sabah Obviously, there are a few uh, new signings, quite a few new signings made by uh, Sabah FC for the 2023 season. And uh, naturally, that uh, that made the competition tighter for your sport, especially you're playing uh, uh, one of the most uh, important uh, positions in, uh, in Sabah and in the national team. What is your view on that? You know, the competition is getting tighter and uh, you, you really need to... Uh, be on your toes or all, all the time right uh, yeah of course yeah. i think uh, it's only good for for the league and for malaysian football i think um you can see the difference from last year to this year there's competition for places across all the the teams in the league there's more teams the foreign quota changed so yeah it's difficult but i think it can only be good uh during training and within the team it's it's more competitive and and the level goes up so it only makes everyone hungrier to try and get that starting 11 space and try and keep it, you know. So definitely a good thing, I think. In your view, um, Stu, uh, of all the new signings, who impressed you the most? It's difficult to say because, of course, I I love all my teammates and I think come on, everyone's... Come on, to name player. one. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Darren, of course, is is yeah. proven in Malaysian football, and and he's he's a great goal scorer. He's a hard worker up there, and he's been a mainstay in our lineup and, mm -hmm. and a very important piece for us so far this season. And also, I think Telmo in midfield, um, the, the new foreign signings also yeah. is brings a lot of experience and a lot of quality uh, into the team. So, of course, I'd like to say everyone, but for me, these two, um, yeah, very good signings. You're enjoying the connection with uh, Darren so far, in, in both in the national team and now in in your club. Yeah, I would say so. Someone Darren, someone that I know very well and I'm very close with. So I think uh, bringing him here, a number of players are also close with him, and and all of the the new signings that Sabah have brought in, we've gelled very well. And I think uh, everyone's going to be important, whether it's now or whether it's coming this season. There's so many games and. I think that that bond to to keep everyone together is very important through through tough games and through the wins also. Speaking of your teammates, uh, Stu, another one of your teammates, your top scorer uh, right now, Pak Tae Su, a top scorer despite being a, a more defensive minded player. Uh, mm. That's uh, you know that is something something big. Um, 
he's uh, one of the more the more experienced figures in the team, I would say. Um, your thoughts on him uh, and his impact on uh, on uh, the senior team, the Sabah senior team? Yeah, I think Park is huge for Sabah. He's into his fifth season with Sabah, so he knows the club extremely well. He's a guy in the changing room that's close with every single player on the team. He's a leader on and off the pitch, so he's extremely important for us. He's one of our captains this season, and and yeah, he even though he's a defensive player, he really contributes with goals and is so important for us. We all know how dangerous he is uh, in the air and and getting himself into the box. So yeah, of course he's such an important guy. So uh, still so last year, um, me and my co-host uh, from Walai to Life, Kish, we went to uh, Kota Kinabalu to meet Dato Ong Kim Sui. And he said to us that he was optimist that uh, he's got a bunch of uh, young players that is ready to play anytime in the league. Ong Kim Sui influenced you the most uh, as a player. I'd say there's many people that have influenced me throughout my time in Malaysia. I'm in my third season now. Uh, all started at Johor. Of course, they had a huge influence on me too. But yeah, Coach Ong was the one that gave me the opportunity to play my first game in the Super League. Um, he took the chance on me without um, me playing under him before. So I think, uh, yeah, that relationship has built over time and, and the trust to, to put me in the team and, and let me play my first year in the Super League as, I guess, still quite a young, inexperienced player in terms of Malaysian football. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely owe a lot to him for giving me that chance. And I think he's a coach that likes to give chances to people that have been doing well and giving them an opportunity. Yeah. So, um, you know, you have played for quite some time with him now, a year or two, maybe. Um, uh as a player, what does he normally want from you still as a midfielder? Does he want you to be behind a striker or maybe operated, operating like a true number eight box-to-box midfielder? What, what, what does he want from you normally? I'd say the main thing is consistency. Like, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a big thing and, and most coaches want this. It's huge in football. Um, just wants to have that, knows what he's going to get out of you every week whichever formation we play um, just wants to know that you're going to give your all, you're going to work hard and, and you're going to, of course, from midfielder be tidy on the ball and try and make good passes and influence the attack in, in any way possible, both attacking and defending. 